And now, Wibbit's 2020 Local News First with WIBT News Director Rick Brancadora. Well, Galloway Police this afternoon continuing to probe as a man was fatally injured in a four-vehicle crash involving a motorcycle on the White Horse Pike. It happened shortly before 6.30 at night when 31-year-old Myron Brown ran into a 2012 Nissan Quest driven by 66-year-old Wayne King of Atlantic City heading northbound on Pomona, making an improper right-hand turn. The investigation's continuing. Brown was taken to Atlantic Care Regional Medical Center City Division, later pronounced dead. Well, there's outright outrage among residents and parents and teachers as well as the New Jersey Education Association now condemning you as a parent who confronts school officials at school board meetings as extremists. The chapter of the New Jersey Education Association posted a short ad flipping back and forth between colorful photos of teachers with students and black and white photos of parents. School board member John Devlin says that's the heart of the problem right here in Atlantic City and he's still failing to get any answers from the small administration as to what they're teaching or who is leading them. We should be partners with parents, and, you know, one of the biggest things as a school board member and one of the biggest things we do as a school board member is communicate and be transparent with the parents and, and you know, the guardians of our children. And this, to me, is devastating, and it almost plays into the playbook of what's going on in Atlantic City right now. You know, the way they advertise and how they do business. Uh, there's no Zoom. You know, have to be in person. Our, our building is tough to get to by car and by foot. It makes it very hard for parents to come and express their views and express their concerns regarding their children. There's certain things we're doing as a school board, as administration, they don't want our parents and community to know. Great homemade meals since 77. We're serving up a little slice of heaven at Dino's. Seville Diner. The tradition continues at Dino's. Delicious family food and fun, all at a great value. Whether you dry it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, the food is outstanding. You feel like you're part of a family when you come here. With daily specials and deals that will keep you coming back again and again. Dino's. Seville Diner. Here in South Jersey, our weather is always changing. That's why Nor'easter Nick is always there. I'm there when it matters most. Anytime, anywhere. And on any screen, so you know how to prepare. Tracking severe storms with the most powerful technology, so you're ready no matter where you live. Delivering the most accurate weather forecast on air, online, and on social media. Putting local first around the clock. Nor'easter Nick, South Jersey's weatherman. Serving by This is the Philadelphia Radio Legend, reborn in the Jersey Shore. WIBG. Local news you can depend on. Wibbage 2020 Local News First. Always there when you need us.